Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a massive day of football because we have got Champions League games back on tap, and this time they are impacting live cards in this game. Guys, Road to the Knockouts cards that are playing games today could be one step closer to one of those upgrades by winning a match today that they are playing, and that means they could be moving on the market. So we're going to talk about that today and how to watch those Road to the Knockout prices as well as other SBC content maybe related to the Champions League that could be dropping today that actually you might have to be careful with because it could drop some prices if we get that SBC. So we're going to talk about a lot today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, yesterday, content overview. There wasn't much to talk about. There isn't much to talk about. All we had yesterday was the 78 plus upgrade pack, which is the exact same SBC as we had last week on Monday for upgrades. It's just... We can do it unlimited number of times. Guys, this SBC, in my opinion, while it does seem to give out a consistent number of 82s and 83s, a double gold upgrade is just better than, than that. It really just is. You turn in three more players, but you get two players back, and the weight on the gold upgrade still seems to be halfway decent and better compared to the 78+, plus, where you only get one player. Just kind of mid, right? All around. Yesterday's content was very quiet, and those upgrade packs... A lot of people are just doing a couple of them because they can't afford to do a lot, which makes sense. Now, I think gold cards actually did kick up in price a little bit on the market. We're talking the non-rare golds. People are going out, and I think they're still about insta-selling for 400 coins. Some, you can probably get lazy sales at 450 or 500 as people are going and doing those SBCs just to have a chance of packing in order to the knockouts. So be careful with that, um, but probably not worth putting a lot of coins into right now now of course with the content being as kind of quiet as it was yesterday that meant good things for the market a lot of player prices are going upwards griezmann touched a hundred thousand coins right now he's 101k after being in a 90k range i mean guys griezmann was 70k just a couple of days ago uh last weekend right he was 83,000 coins i remember seeing him on friday at one point at like 79,000 coins and a nice rise here and he's not the only card that is going up rafael leao 160,000 coins guys player prices continue to rise very substantial amounts because people are getting coins they're going and building teams and it's that demand for the upcoming weekend league that is pushing prices higher. Heroes, icons are going a lot higher in price. I sold Rudy Voller on, I think, Friday or Saturday for 770, and he's now consistently right around or above 800,000 coins for his card. A lot of those types of players are rising. Icons are going up in price. Informs, out of pack special cards, uh, team of the week one. Mohamed Salah is reaching new high prices. Uh, Doku, Dybala, Lewandowski are back. Even Team of the Week that are in packs right now. Hyunmin Sun's almost 600k. What a rise from where he was on Sunday at 490,000 coins, up over 100,000 from that point. Prices are rising basically all across the market right now on this game, and it's because the content's not that great, and people are continuing to play to upgrade their teams and all of that. Now... Unless we get a big supply or a massive SBC this week, guys, I really feel like the market should keep going, right? We're finally getting some of that demand for these players and people building squads and teams of the utmost quality for Weekend League. They are starting to see these prices rise, which is super duper nice, especially for those of us who have invested like I have and you're waiting for these cards to keep rising. We are seeing it now. What could change this is an SBC that would be either a big content release like i'm not expecting an icon pack it's way too early for that sort of thing but more so what i'm expecting to impact prices the, at least the most possible scenario for that to happen would be another tradable pack supply sbc and we haven't seen one of those in a hot minute now of course we get the marquee matchups sbc every single week on thursdays but during champions league related promos and especially during actual champions league related weeks of real life games of champions league we have gotten SBCs called UEFA Marquee Matchups. And if you remember these SBCs from old, EA used to drop these in old FIFAs like every single week there was Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League games being played. And in previous FIFAs, like last year in FIFA 23, they only dropped this SBC two times the entire year. One was, though, this exact week. The first week of the Road to the Knockouts promo in FIFA 23 was one of the weeks where they dropped UEFA Marquee Matchups. And why is this a big deal? Because... This is basically like regular marquee matchups. And what do we see every Thursday, at least for the past two Thursdays, when this SBC drops, we see player prices 
drop because a lot of tradable packs and especially this early stage of the game when ea is giving out prime mixed players packs small prime gold players packs and then to complete the whole thing a rare electrum players pack similar to the regular marquee matchups uefa marquee matchups gives out good packs and it supplies the market with a lot of cards that i feel like is the only situation that could happen today guys i'm not saying that uefa mms are going to drop today because we we just don't know right i mean it could happen it's likely but we don't know i just wanted to talk about it to prepare you for it because there's two sides of the coin here if we get a uefa marquee matchups today it's going to drop some prices it's probably not going to drop prices that they're going to be so low that they're never going to rebound from. It's probably just going to be one of those scenarios like we saw as we just looked at a couple of graphs um, for like uh, the squad that rewards on Sunday as Alex Morgan's price is another card that continues to rise. On Sunday, we had a 37,000 coin down to 34,000 coin drop during squad battle rewards for her card, and she rebounded right back up, right? That's the type of drop I would expect to see on the market. It would be a slight drop and then a rebound back up if we were to have some sort of UEFA marquee matchups SBC. So it's not that big of a deal, but just to kind of put that out there for you, it could actually be a really good opportunity to trade or maybe to pick up some fodder if you're looking to invest in fodder. Anytime we get supply on the market, it actually brings a really good trading opportunity, but it does move prices. So I wanted to bring that up also because if they were to require players from certain, um, you know, like in these this SBC from last year, they required uh, players from Napoli or Ajax or PSG or Benfica. It's like a marquee matchups where the players or the clubs that are featured in the SBC, they require those, right? And they, usually what they did was they would take one game from a Tuesday matchup and one game from a Wednesday matchup, and they would put that into the SBC. And I would imagine they would do probably the same thing if they're gonna drop that SBC this year. So that's enough to talk about that. Now, more talk about Road to the Knockouts players though. Guys, today kind of begins the fun for the Road to the Knockouts because these card prices are going to move today because they have got games today, guys. And if they have games, that means their upgrades are on the line, right? Manchester United are playing Galatasaray today. Bruno Fernandes, of course, United probably expected to win this match. Now, you might be saying, Nate, um, especially for this Group A, you right? Bayern beat Manchester United last time. So does that mean that right now this Limer card, who's finally on the market after being extinct, EA updated his price range. I do believe this guy is very, very expensive, but it's definitely priced into his card that Bayern are one of the favorite clubs to go far in the Champions League and especially get out of the group. It's almost like the plus two is already priced in to this card with him being almost 290,000 coins. But since uh, Bayern already beat Manchester United the first time around in match day one, does that actually mean that he's on one win already and has already started to progress toward his, toward his one win upgrade? No, that is not the case. Once again, on EA's website, all of the upgrades, the matches that will be won start after the September 29th date, right? So every match won after this date of when these cards came out of the game will count towards the win to upgrade. So right now, everybody is on zero wins. But of course, if uh, Union Berlin win today, right? Union Berlin, we've got Bonucci. That's an early game. Uh, we got Man United and Galatasaray. We've got Mertens for Galatasaray. And we've got uh, Bruno for Man U. If... Whoever wins today out of those um, clubs and these competitions, these games, you might see a couple cards actually start to rise up in value. I actually went out and I made a little bit of a speculative play here. I picked up a couple of Benucci's because I'm kind of backing Union Berlin today. Nothing, of course, against uh, Braga, but I'm backing Union Berlin for, for a dub today. And I want to see if Benucci's price will rise if they're winning during the game. A lot of times what you'll see, guys, with these cards is their prices will move when goals are scored. And we'll talk about this and especially live trade with them a lot on stream. Uh, but it's something to keep note of is that today, Bonucci could potentially go from 25,000 coins where he is right now. If they were to win today, he might be like 30, 35,000 coins. Like maybe not that big of a rise, but at least 30K, you can see his price go up. Now, the underdogs are where the price moves the most, right? Obviously, Galatasaray, Playing against Man United at Old Stratford today, not a favorite to win, right? Well, they're still a strong team. If they were to pull off something crazy, this Mertens card would explode because this is a game that they're not expected to win. And what it would mean is one win for that upgrade, uh, getting towards that plus one in form upgrade, but also putting them in a position in the group where if they continue to play well, 
he could end up getting another upgrade. And maybe this Mertens goes to an 89 if they pull off some other incredible results. So that's where the hype of these road to the knockout cards can come into play today, guys. So for the fixtures that we have upcoming, Mertens, Benucci are definitely cards to keep an eye on. A card like Bruno, if Man United win today, they're favorites. He's probably not going to go up much in price, if at all, after the game. He might even drop after the game. He's a really rare card and I think overpriced anyway. But that's the sort of thing you want to be careful with trading with these um, is that you have to make sure you know who's the favorite and who's the underdog because there's a lot more price swing if an underdog ends up having a really good performance. Um, and sometimes the favorite's prices just drop after the game because people expect them to go up. But again, in reality, this card's very expensive and they're expected to win. So if they don't, uh, or if they do, he still might drop off post game. So these cards will be fluctuating a lot regardless of what other content that we get today on this game. That's one thing I wanted to point out a lot to you guys. And we'll be talking about these road of the knockouts a ton in the coming days as we see their prices move. Now, if you're trying to trade with any of these, like with Benucci today, one of the biggest rules with these cards is selling into the hype. If Benucci is 30,000 coins before the match today, and I see him going up in price because they're expected to win, I'm going to take the cash, right? Selling in the hype is such a crucial way of selling in these cards because that way, if you sell before the game, you're not you know, taking too many risks because if they win and it goes up a little bit more, okay. But if they lose and it goes down to 20K, then you're losing some coins that you didn't plan to lose. And selling into the hype avoids all of that. That's my biggest tip for trading with live cards is sell into the hype. So watch out for those cards that have matchups today. There's a lot of games today. Uh, Lens is playing Arsenal. Um, let's see, who else? Napoli, Real Madrid. So you've got actually, you got a big matchup for Osiman. You know, that's a card that... That's a big game, right? Napoli, if they're able to pull off the upset, an Osman card could rise in price, definitely. But also, you'd want to sell really fast in the hype after that because his price would probably drop down later on. So it's just crazy, right? These guys are going to move like, like crazy today, but it's going to be so fun to watch at the exact same time. Now, apart from all that, what else could we have today on this game? The market maybe continues to rise unless we have that marquee matchups like we thought to, talked about. I think today might be a day where EA would drop another one of these squad foundations because EA have said in the pitch notes from earlier on this year, they're going to be dropping a lot of these squad foundations. I mean, think about it. MLS and NWSL were leagues that we have not seen yet in foundations that um, they have actually told us that they are going to be dropping foundations, objectives and SBCs for, right? We've had the Turkish league. We've had Eredivisie. We have had the Liga F, but MLS, NWSL, Saudi League maybe as well could all feature as a part of this in this first season, the, the welcome season to FC24. We could have some player SBC content and objectives with that today. And I think it's also possible for maybe another Road to the Knockouts player SBC. Still not sure, guys, if we're getting a team two of RTTK. It seems like we would because we're missing a lot of big clubs for live cards. But at the moment, we really just do not know. So that's kind of what I would expect today is maybe marquee matchups, and then um, maybe a player SBC for either an RTTK or a foundations. Now, where are my coins at right now? I'm still lazy listing a few things here. Still have the Sam Kerr cards that I was hoping to sell. Her price hasn't really gone up that much. Um, honestly, for the prices that I saw yesterday, a lot of them spiked before content. I'm trying to look for Musiala right now. I'll just search him up. Uh, Musiala yesterday was like 70,000 coins. Um, in the early morning hours on Monday. We shouted him on the YouTube video because I did believe he was too cheap. He reached a peak before content of 78K. So we went up like 10,000 coins, went back down to 73, went back to 76. He's kind of 73 right now. Um, it's like a lot of cards had big rises yesterday in the morning. And some of them have just kind of been stagnant since then, right? Messi went from 182 all the way to 200K. He's been 200K a couple times. Right now he's 193, about the same price just down a couple K. I really wouldn't worry about card prices that much. Like if you bought Diaby on Saturday when he crashed a bunch uh, to like 45K or whatever he was, 44K, if you bought him there, you're chilling, right? So I'm definitely not saying this is a time where you have to sell. Today's content will impact the market, I think a little bit, but in reality, we're headed towards one of the biggest weekends on the year, the first weekend league competition, which is so, so massive for team building and buying on this game. I think prices could continue to increase unless we see something crazy 
uh, content wise this week. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. A bit of a short one, but today's going to be a really interesting day with these Champions League games going on. So watch those cards specifically on the market and keep a close eye on SBCs today because of the tradable supply that maybe could be happening. We'll see. So that was the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the Count and catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>